Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video we're going to go over some of the best features that the Preview app has to offer. This first tip might be a bit specific to certain situations, but creating a new image from Clipboard is actually very helpful. For me, if I'm looking over a video in QuickTime and I see a specific frame in the video that might make a better thumbnail than what I previously had, I can go to Edit, Copy, and then open Preview and go to File, New from Clipboard. From here, I can save it as a specific file type and increase or decrease the quality of the file. Next up is one of the ways that I use Preview the most, and that's filling out documents or PDFs, and of course, signing them. If you need to add text into a PDF, you can do so by selecting the Markup Tool icon and then the Text icon to add any text. You can also adjust the size and color of the text and place it where you would like on the document. Finally, once the form is finished and you're ready to add a signature, select the sign icon and add an existing signature or create a new one. If you have a MacBook or an external trackpad, you can use your finger to sign the document or sign your name on a white piece of paper and select the camera option to scan your signature. The Preview app isn't a Photoshop competitor by any means, but there are some basic photo editing features that could come in handy when in a pinch. For example, if you have a logo with a white background and you want to remove said background, you can actually do this with the Preview app. Simply select the Markup tool and then the Rectangular Selection tool. Then select Instant Alpha to the right of the Selection tool. From here, you can simply drag your cursor over the image. The background will turn red briefly and then select around the logo itself, and then press Delete to remove the background. If your image is not a PNG file, the app will automatically convert the file to a PNG and add transparency to your image. The photo editing doesn't stop there. Preview actually has a few basic color correction tools that can help you adjust the exposure, color temperature, and saturation, as well as basic image editing tools like cropping or resizing the image. To adjust the color of the image, select the markup icon and then select adjust color. From here, you can adjust each setting via the sliders or have the image auto-corrected. Next to the adjust color icon is where you will find the adjust size options. Finally, if you don't want to spend the money on a program like Adobe Reader or other PDF editors, you can do some very basic editing and creating yourself. If you want to add or merge multiple documents or PDFs to one, you can do so by selecting Edit, Insert, and from here you can add a blank page or another file. To see all of your pages, select the View menu icon in the top left corner and select Thumbnails. If you wish to delete a page, select that thumbnail of the page and press Delete. You can also drag and drop pages to reorder, or if you want to export a single page as a JPEG or PNG file, you can right-click on that page and select Export. If you have any other features in the Preview app that you like to use and want to share it with us, you can do so in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.